Hello, my name is Steven Coza. I'm a rider for Garmin Slipstream. We're in my hometown of Petaluma, California, and I'll be taking you on my favorite ride. This uh, ride's called, I'd call it the Marshall Wall Mount Tam uh, Loop. And I'll take you from Petaluma all the way out to Marshall. From Marshall, we'll go along to Moss Bay, Three Point Rays, and then Alima, all the way to Bolinas. And from Bolinas, we'll go up the Mount Tam Ridge, drop down to Alpine Dam, from there, we'll roll right into Fairfax, and from Fairfax, we'll go back through Nicasio, back to Petaluma. Uh, right now, Team Swift's coming out to do this loop with me. I always enjoy going out with the juniors because, you know, I came from Team Swift, and it brings me back to when I used to train and race with them. And here over in Europe, so much racing in the professional Peloton, you kind of, you sometimes forget what it is to have fun, you know? And when you ride with the juniors, you're always having fun, they're always goofy and it brings you back to why you got into the sport in the first place. When you're heading towards Marshall Wall, you go, uh, you're going out Western Road. That valley is pretty cool because a lot of farmers from the Petaluma area farm their, their dairy cows there. It's just fun. You can get a good crosswind there from the wind coming in from the coast. And uh, there's a city limit sign that you can sprint for. When I'm riding with Team Swift or any other juniors in the area, we, um, we sometimes practice lead out trains and help lead them out. And I don't think I've ever won a city limit sprint. <laughs> Marshall Wall, it's a six to eight minute climb. And um, it's a good climb. It's, uh, it starts off pretty steep and then it twists a bit. And once again, you, you ride by quite a few cows. <laughs> That's, those are the, our biggest fans on this ride, are the cows. <laughs> From Marshall to Point Reyes, it's part of Highway 1. It's a good rolling, twisty, you know, coastal type road. And it's pretty cool because, well, you're going along the bay and there's, uh, they farm oysters in Tamal Bay. So you're going past all these oyster stands and that bay is really cool actually in terms of shark fishing. Last, last year I caught a nine foot, seven gill shark in there in my 10 foot aluminum boat. So it's kind of cool to check out how many boats are out there and what's going on. <laughs> Wildlife's definitely one of my favorite reasons to ride because you're, you're seeing, it's different when you're in a car, you're going so fast and you miss a lot of things, but when you're on your bike, you have so much time to see stuff, you're going, you know, 20 miles an hour. Um, you, you get chances to see wildlife, bobcats, mountain lions, uh, coyotes, deer. The Bofax climb, which is uh, from Bolinas, all the way up to the top of the Mount Tam Ridge and then down to Fairfax, it's a, uh, it's a good climb. It's close to six miles long, and it's quite twisty. There's some steep parts in the beginning, and you're going up through the redwoods, which is really cool. That's another favorite part of mine, is going through the redwoods, especially on a hot day, because it keeps you shaded. There you get a good view of the Pacific Ocean, the Farallon Islands, which is really cool. That's where the um, great whites come to migrate. If there is fog, it's still cool because you can break through the fog layer halfway up the climb and then you look down and it's like, it's like a blanket. It looks like you could almost just jump off and jump into it. My favorite parts are probably going through redwood trees. It's like a rally car race right there. Going up the climbs and then dropping down to Alpine Dam is always a cool one. So I always like doing that. Look off to the left, that's a big drop off. And to the right, it's a nice lake. And you might even get lucky enough to see a deer swimming across the lake. I've seen that a few times. <laughs> I don't know why they do it, but they like to swim across that lake. 
I mean, on this ride, I, I don't even, well, I never train with music because there's no point. It's cool just to hear the nature and um, listen to, you know, the wind. And it's, it's a sport where you have to be really self-driven and self-motivated and having reasons to go out and train definitely helps and my reasons to go out and see nature. So it's a good excuse to get outside and enjoy the outdoors.